There's a new British study out that concludes Mars may be less habitable than scientists may previously have believed. The report by the UK Centre for Astrobiology and the University of Edinburgh tested microbes commonly found on Earth. Well, they found those microbes died when they were subjected to the kind of conditions that they might have encountered if they were on Mars. National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fizikas is in Montreal. And Andrew, tell us more about this British study. Oh, and, oh by the way, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Brad. <laughs> yes, this is an eye-opening study that may really help us direct our future missions and where to look for life on Mars. And it seems like the surface of Mars may be quite sterile because of these chlorine compounds that seem to be peppering Mars' surface everywhere. Many past missions that have landed, these rovers and, and probes that we've sent to Mars and landed on the surface, have showed us scattered across the globe, Martian globe, there are these chlorine compounds that in some sense in the past studies have shown may boost the habitability of Mars because it lowers the freezing point of water, uh, which is a key ingredient for life. Uh, however, this new study is telling us that it would kill bacteria very quickly. In fact, what the study did is they exposed the common Earth bacteria that usually hitches a ride on many of our space probes and, and, and mixed it with this chlorine compound with the similar type of UV radiation that comes from the sun that hits Mars on every day, and it killed the bacteria within one minute. Wow. So this is, this is a, a sobering study because it says that maybe perhaps we might have to dig into the ground a meter or two to find a habitable uh, condition where we're protected from the UV light and these per, uh, perchlorate uh, chlorine compounds are not activated by the sun. Luckily enough, we have a Russian um, a, a European probe that will be going to Mars in the next couple of years and landing and actually drilling two meters into the ground where it will be searching for life. So we might get some answers in ter terms of habitability of Mars true on the ground uh, truth, uh, maybe within the next two, three years. Wow, pretty amazing developments that we get to explore with you every Sunday. National <laughs> Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fazekas, always a pleasure. Have a great Sunday, my friend. Clear skies.